everyone and welcome back to the NFA Review Channel. Really, really neat rifle for review today, the Stag 15 Tactical. Uh, I had the pleasure of meeting the Stag crew at the IV8888 shoot up in Georgia uh, last October. Super, super cool guys and gun guys to the core. I mean, they are fanatics about guns just like we are. Uh, they didn't care about bean counting as much as some of the other companies do. So let's go ahead and take an in-depth look. All right, let's get right down into the specs. Uh, we'll start from the front of the gun. So we have a 16 inch barrel, actually a little longer than 16 inches per the law. So the barrel is 4150 steel, one and seven twist chrome line with a magnesium phosphate finish. So the one and seven twist is important to me because that's gonna stabilize those heavier 62 grain uh, projectiles and you're not gonna risk a uh, baffle strike. Actually, you know what? Maybe we'll take this off and we'll throw a suppressor on it just to toy around with it later on on the range. Uh, moving up to the gas system, this is a carbine length gas system. The handguard is theirs. It's a uh, very thin handguard with M lock built into it. So that's pretty much the trend right now. I've noticed uh, two things less is more and key mods gone. So we have M lock, awesome, you guys rock. Um, and it does attach via a single nut and bolt here. Um, really, really clean system and it doesn't add a lot of weight. It's actually very lightweight. Comes in at 13.5 inches itself. Moving back, the upper and lower receiver. Uh, nothing special here, but it is done right. 7075 T6 aluminum, uh, Type 3, um, Class 2, hard coat anodizing there. Trigger is going to be mil spec. Now they did do a uh, ambidextrous charging handle here and a sling mount. Uh, that will work with the QD mounts that are machined into the handguards. Furniture is Magpul. This is a CTR, so you're not going to have any of that annoying wobble. The bolt carry group is full mil spec, uh, so everything that you would expect there. Uh, let's see, uh, might have missed that this does have a, a uh, H weighted buffer, and the uh, castle nut here is properly staked. So again, this is well built because this is built by actual gun guys. So name of the game that I mentioned earlier, they wanted to build a high quality mil spec rifle for the sub $1,000 price range. So this comes in at 969 price range. So have some sales going on, have some lower gun shop pricing. Maybe you win the $100 gift card on my Patreon winner circle page. This gun is getting really, really affordable much lower than actually should be for what you're getting and they have a fully transferable lifetime warranty so that's super important to me anytime i pick up something i want to make sure that the company is going to be there 10 years down the road and if there's an issue i have that my investment that i bought into is not just going to be left at the wayside they're actually going to stand behind their product and they're going to cover it so whether you're the original buyer or a secondhand buyer they're going to they're going to stick with you and they're going to take care of it whether it's a you know repair or replacement Behind me on the wall, I have their 10 and a half inch SBR, which I will be doing a review on. I already threw the Magpul backup side on it, a Holo Sun, and a suppressor. This is the YHM Turbo 556. I had an extra one. So nice little keep it simple rifle. Um, so again, yeah, I'm probably going to throw that suppressor on here actually uh, during this review, just so we can make sure that the gas system and the weighted buffer, everything works suppressed and unsuppressed, because that's really important to me on my channel. So I want to make sure this thing runs out of the box either way for you guys out there. Um, little, uh, little, little side story now that we're done with the specs. When I met them up at the IV8888 shoot, uh, they came super <laughs> prepared. And they came prepared to my shoot in December over at Reload. They brought tons of ammunition. Well, the last thing you want to do as a gun company that had ammo shipped down is actually go home with it because they're getting flights home. You can't carry that much ammo back. So what does any self-respecting gun nut do? We do a gun meltdown. Um, so we tried to destroy a 10 and a half inch, just like that one I showed you there at um, the range that Eric and Chad had for their event for the YouTuber shoot. And I believe we shot like 2000 rounds through it with a full auto lower on it. And we finally got it to stop 
and then we just added some oil and it started to back up again. It got so hot, the hand guards melted off and the gas tube melted flat against the barrel. Once everything cooled down, we lubed it up again and it kept running. So I believe that gun is hanging up in their office and it still works to this day. So pretty good testament to um, Stag Arms reliability and their willingness to build a quality product from the ground up for prices that we can all afford. So I uh, believe that covers the studio. Let's go ahead and spend some more time out at the range. I want to run it suppressed, unsuppressed. I want to see how accurate it is to 100 yards. We're not going to get too crazy here. This is a battle type rifle. So you're really going to be using this, you know, within 50 yards or so. But uh, we're, we're going to have some fun. This is actually destined for the Angry Ginger, my cameraman. So I'm going to try to get him actually on camera shooting and enjoying his new toy here. Let's go ahead and get out there. All right, everyone, we made it to the range today. We're going to do a couple of function tests today, shoot it unsuppressed and suppressed. Uh, we're about 30 yards away from the target right now. Uh, we're going to show you the groupings in between takes here. I'll throw that on the uh, screen. Uh, so we're going to shoot uh, 10 rounds of Perfecta 223 and 10 rounds of 62 grain uh, PMC green, uh, green tip. Uh, so those are both supplied by Freedom Munitions, so thanks for that. So yeah, basically just want to run the two different ammo types that you guys will, will encounter out there, make sure the gun will function 100%, not give you any issues. Then we'll throw the can on it, see if we can uh, get it to, to malfunction with the extra uh, pressure. So uh, first 10 rounds. Take that 10 round group. Let's go ahead and take a look at that. All right. Now we have the uh, PMC X Tac, the 62 grain green tip. We'll try that out. And uh, in case you guys haven't realized it, I'm running my lapel mic today, not my stereo mic, so the audio is not going to sound as good as it normally does. But basically, wearing it for, no for the notation today. Uh, so we're not reviewing a suppressor, so there's no need. All right, Let's see what we can do here. What do you think, Jens? Look a little tighter. I think, yeah, looks good. I think so. All right, we're going to try it with the uh, turbo on it. So, you know, again, accuracy issues here. Can't really blame it on the gun. We might have some point of impact shift with the can. It might tighten up. We don't know yet. Mainly, this test is not for accuracy. This is for the functioning. This can be the 223 Remington uh, Perfecta 55 grain. 10 rounds. I'll see what it does anyway. I'll take my time. Woo, it's gassy. The group is way tighter. Like not even a question. Ah, flyer. Mother. Yeah, that's gassy. Damn. Dude, those first five rounds looked phenomenal. Just, I mean, it was stacked and then I just, I couldn't see anything. Let's go ahead and take a look at the target. All right, we got the PMC 62 grain in here. Let's see what we can do. Again, stacking it perfectly. And I pulled it. And I give up. How am I stacking two different groups? I 
I'm like watching the brass at the same time, making sure the gun's not over gas. It's, it's actually doing really well, you know, obviously getting some gas in my right eye, but that's, I mean, that's gonna be the case with a DI non-adjustable gun here. But we have just figured out that it will run suppressed and unsuppressed with two different types of ammo right out of the box. Actually, we forgot to lube it, so it is dry right now. It's still running, so that's pretty awesome. Let's take a look at that group. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on, it's like, all right, so this is, uh, hopefully I'm in frame here, I'll stand right here. So this is uh, Angry Ginger's first AR-15, congratulations. So we're gonna have a little fun today. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just let him do a mag dump, see how accurate he is as a novice shooter. At well, I think, yeah, we're kind of at like 35 yards here, see how many hits he can get on steel as fast as he can fire. Go ahead, Ginge. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. <laughs> all right, we backed all the way up to 100 yards. You can see my truck on the right. Target's gonna be in the center of your screen. It's the orange uh, steel from shootsteel.com. Uh, so Angry Ginger here has, like I said, he's a novice shooter. This is his first AR. You've never shot at 100 yards before, right? Nope. And these are just Magpul irons, and you got it set on the small aperture. All right, so he has 10 rounds of, I believe you put the uh, PMC X-Tac in there, right? That is correct. <laughs> All right, sniper, let's see what you got. 10 rounds. Let's see what you got there, slick. Can you take that out? <laughs> oh, you want me to do some magical editing? That's gonna count. Hit. 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 Wow, I'm impressed. Ah, uh, one more. So, eight out of 10, dude. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad your first time. Owen Wilson screwed. <laughs> Rifle me, Ginge. <laughs> That's so corny. All right, guys. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video on the Stag 15 Tactical. Uh, I mean, listen, nothing groundbreaking here. This is a direct impingement. AR-15, but one thing it did that a lot of guns can't do these days is run right out of the box. We did not lube it, we totally forgot. So whatever machine oil this thing had laying around inside was the only lubrication it had. And we shot, what do you think, uh, Jenge? 452 rounds. <laughs> Four, <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that. He's pretty sure we shot 452 rounds. Somewhere around four or 500 rounds on, uh, on and off camera. Not a single malfunction. That was with the 55, the 72, or the 62 unsuppressed and suppressed. That's, I know the gun should run, but a lot of guns don't run, especially non-adjustable guns. This thing ran in multiple different configurations with different ammo types without a hitch, and it wasn't even over gas. So uh, I'm gonna have to get on the horn with Mike and see how he did that, see what gas, uh, gas port size he did. Uh, but really lightweight gun too. I know I didn't wait earlier in the studio. I'll go ahead and throw the weight below. I'm gonna throw it on the scale when I get back. Um, so yeah, uh, we shot it at 100 yards, accurate, we did uh, pretty much, what was that, like 45, 35 all day? I mean, you know, this gun's not designed for precision work, but it will get the job done for what it's intended to do. And especially, we were shooting freehand. If we put this thing in the rest, I'm sure it would have shot really, really well today. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. A huge shout out to Freedom Munitions for all the ammo. Save me a pretty penny today. They always have an active coupon code below. Patreon members get an actual uh, larger promo code. Speaking of Patreon, Stag Arms is actually a supporter of my Patreon. So they sponsor a $100 gift card every single month that I give away to you guys on the Winter Circle on my Patreon account. Uh, and I believe they have an active coupon code too you can kind of stack that with. So you can save a decent amount on one of these guns. Uh, speaking of Stag being awesome, they were the company I had the most positive feedback on at my event, the uh, NFA Review Expo in Tarpon Springs, Florida this past December. I had DMs on Instagram, PMs on Facebook, emails, everything from people both days on 
how positive they were in the booth, how willing they were to switch the uppers to the left hand variant. I mean, everything. And they were filling their mags completely. They, they must have went through nine to 10,000 rounds easily per day. I mean, they weren't screwing around. Uh, so that's really cool. And like I said earlier in the video, they're gun guys to the core. Another big shout out that pertains to the shoot is shootsteel.com. The target we're shooting at today was, that's the actual used plate that we had to use at the expo because their steel backstop wasn't rated for the 62 grain that the, that the MCR from Fight Lights rated for. So they would have had to pull out last minute because there was some miscommunication and the range was like, no, our backstop can't handle it. Freaking shoot steel came through. We put a bunch of their steel at the end and they were destroyed all day. That's actually one of them. It has like 7,000 rounds of 62 grain steel core blasting that thing and it's fine. We shot it all day today. You can see up close uh, when, I sh when we showed you the uh, groupings up close. You know, it's pitted, but it's still usable. It's working just fine. So that's a testament to how well built that is as well. Anything you've seen in today's video, look below. I'll have a promo code. Make sure to click that like and subscribe button. Check that notification bell because I have a lot more reviews coming. Got another one from Stag Arms. It's going to be the 10 and a half inch SBR, but you can actually order and tweak as a factory build. More on that in the next video. See you next time. I want to move back to a hundo, see what I can do. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Doing a little, another freak out mag dump. Oh, what happened? Oh, you, you are loading the mag. Yeah, just try it again. There you go. Is that mag seated all the way? There you go. Let's see what you got there, slip. Dude, shoot the dirt for a second. I just want to hear it. All right, now just go freak out mode on the steel. God, dude, that steel is louder than the gun for sure. For sure. Yeah. Hey, you, you good there, Mr. Uh, Russian sniper? Sweat, sweat, Adidas pants wearing ginger. You need a sling rifle on your back and go find a downed pilot.